Welcome back to my channel, A Taste of Flavor. Tonight, we're gonna to be making chicken wings. So with the chicken, I've already cut the ends off the wings. Oh, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut them into sections where they're actually wing heads. And you cut them right down the middle. You have a drumstick, and you'll have a flat. So we're gonna cut all of them the same way. And what I like to do is if I find any fat, just trim the fat off. right through the middle on the other side of the bone. So you can do that. What I'll do after this is I have some oil heating up already. And so we're gonna pat this dry and then we're gonna season, season the chicken. Okay, so now that we got them cut up, we'll pat everything dry. You want to do that so your seasoning can stick to the chicken. Let everything dry, then we'll season it up. Use whatever seasoning you have, whatever you like. I like this Cajun seasoning. It tastes good on chicken, pork, beef, just about anything. Don't be afraid to season generously. We season up high, and then as you do that, we, we'll toss the chicken. Season and toss. As you can see, the coating is a lot more even when you do that. So, I already have some oil heated up, and it's been heating for a while, so the chicken should be ready to go. Uh, use whatever you have. This is a Dutch oven pot. You can fry, bake in it, uh, saute. You can do just about anything in this. So now the chicken is ready to go. We'll start frying it up. Be careful not to get uh, batter on you. It's and you don't want to overcrowd it too much. If you do that, it makes it cook slower and it don't cook as, as even. And as I'm tossing it off, kind of still season it a little bit. So we seasoned it. And then we'll let this cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll come and check on it. Okay, so now that we have the chicken going, we're gonna, we're gonna make some french fries as well. These will be homemade french fries. So we already have our potatoes cut up. And we have our fry daddy ready. And what we're gonna do, this method, we're gonna double fry them. Double fry them is when you let them stay in the oil for about three to four minutes. And then you take them out, you do a second batch the same way. And when you do that, it makes the fries more crispier. Tastes more like they're a uh, restaurant. So we'll let these pop about three or four minutes. Okay, so we have our chicken still for all the beef. Okay. Yeah, we did probably about another four minutes on that chicken. Okay, so while we're waiting on our chicken to get done, we're gonna make our sauce, buffalo sauce. And what I like to use is just the original Frank hot sauce. And then when I do that, I'll take uh, butter and just combine it together. Just to give it that spicy, like a real spicy buttery taste. It tastes really well. Nothing like homemade buffalo sauce. Just mix 
put it together. We'll set that aside and leave that for half of our wings. I'm also going to make uh, spicy barbecue sauce. We're going to keep using barbecue sauce. And then we're going to take some spicy sriracha sauce. Not a whole lot of this because I, it's very spicy. We use that however you like to spice the locals. And then we'll take some honey to kind of help cool it down. Mix this together. And then you want to taste it to see if it's the level that you want it. And we'll mix all these sauces together and we'll set them aside. So we'll have our sauces for our chicken. Alright, so we have our first batch of our wings already. So what we do now is we just take a buffalo sauce. I can smell the spicy decision. Just take some with we'll just it over. Just you know, do it to, to your preference. Have a, have a saucy that you like it. our wings and then as you can see we cooked our french fries and these are not double fried like we want them to be so what we'll do is we'll take we'll take these and we'll put them back into it once they've cooled off so put them back into the fryer we'll let them stay there several minutes and by doing this they'll be really crispy like the restaurant quality so we'll let them fry at least another five or six minutes and on our fries the you can definitely see the color difference with the way the fries are little bit so it's gonna get a lot crispier taste of our, our fries doing this so as you can see, it is a big difference when you take these out. Just on the crispiness of these fries. And I will show you all the difference between these. You see there's a difference. I mean, granted these are not all the way done yet, but the crispiness when you put some salt on there, it is gonna taste better than the restaurant. Okay, so here's our final plate. We have the buffalo sauce. We have barbecue. There's our fries. And then we have some celery to kind of cool it off for us. But that is the final plate. Remember to like and subscribe and also I will have the recipes in the description.